Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Capital Tarot. I am a psychic medium oracle prophetess. Um, so welcome, welcome. If this is your first time and welcome back my loves. We are a high vibe tribe. Um, so you guys have seen the title. You guys already know why you're here. Um, this is a message it's, I got. Um, so a divine masculine counterpart who is being guided by spirit babies. Okay. These are children that you guys have had in previous lifetimes that are assisting and guiding you into union at this time, um, along with the babies, spirit babies who are going to be birthed through the two of you coming together, okay? That's how they get to incarnate and they are so ready to incarnate, okay? Um, and this is obviously for those of you guys who are still fertile and at the age of you know childbearing, stuff like that, right? But either way, there's spirit babies guiding you guys into union along with, very strongly, loved ones on the other side, um, ancestors and loved ones who have known you guys um, who have passed on in this lifetime as well, okay? Very powerful energy here. Um, so let me just kind of, I'm just going to get right into it, you guys. I'm going to start off with some, with some Rider weight. okay? Again, overall energy of this connection yeah this is someone who's heartbroken okay um there's separation here though okay that's that's what that means separation there's some type of you know heartbreak energy sadness feeling the loss of someone you know um for some of you guys this could be someone right like that you haven't even met yet Okay. You could just feel this very strong 5D soul connection with someone and you might feel like you're already, you know, in union with someone and there could be like bouts of, you know, like sadness where you feel like you terribly miss someone, even though you don't even know who, who it is that you're missing. You just, you feel them somehow, right? It's like that. Okay. So those of you guys that that part's for, you know, um, you're also about to receive union, okay? There's King of Wands, bottom of the deck. All right, so here we go. Okay, Spirit Guides, and, oh, look, it, it came right back out. I didn't even have a chance to finish talking. I knew I should have pulled it. It's fine. There it is. It just confirmed what I was just saying. There's someone, um, for, for some of you guys, there's someone on the other side who suffered a um, heart attack. They passed away from a heart attack and they had heart or they had and they had, or or this could be I'm specifically getting heart attack or someone that suffered from heart problems maybe fluid on the heart I don't know but I'm just getting that very heavily right now so for those of you guys that part is for that's this person on the other side they, they've transitioned out and they are with you and they want you to know that they are assisting and guiding okay but either way um this is that separation okay if there is any kind of third party energy here going on for some of you guys, um, the spirit babies and spirit guides, again, loved ones on the other side are heavily guiding this person away from, um, the karmic energies. They're giving them a ton of signs, synchronicities, you know, all, all of it. They're making sure that everywhere they look and walk and go and step like, that it's it's about you okay all right <laughs> tell me more about the spirit babies and how they are guiding at this time i am being shown the empress card so and that is the mother that is pregnancy um so i feel like some of you guys will be it's coming through for some of you guys yeah look the full queen of pentacles she's she's got a really you know beautiful motherly energy too right very nurturing very earthy, grounded. This is that fresh start and clean slate. The spirit babies are letting you know that there's that they're going to be born. This is like upon incarnation, you know. Um, when we come into this world, we come in zero point energy, right? Like that. Takes two to tango. Takes two to tango. And then bottom of the deck immediately when I saw this, that's what I heard was it takes two to tango. You know, this is not necessarily that card, right? But it's a card of number two. 
um, there's the infinity symbol here, two pentacles, okay, this is you guys is what I'm getting, and it's two to tango. Okay. There's also divine masculine here, or someone, right, who's been kind of going back and forth about taking a, a blind leap of faith into the unknown. Okay. Archangel Michael showing up. He's been coming through in almost every single reading that I've been doing. Very much around the collective energy right now. Also guiding the divine masculine energies. Helping them to see divine truth and see clearly. Okay. This is a breakthrough. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Leo. Strength card. And then the Five of Swords is showing up. That's that I, I'm sabotaging myself or I'm sabotaging my life by constantly just hanging back and going back and forth. Their wishy-washy energy and they're going back and forth about things, it's like, it's, it's breaking their heart. It's becoming like, you know, like toxic to them because there's in so much pain for some of them. Okay, so give me one more, please. Tell me about these spirit babies and how they are guiding and assisting at this time. There it is. <laughs> They're helping you guys have this passionate new beginning. This for me is also that sexual chemistry. They're heavily guiding and assisting so that you guys can create passion together. If you catch my drift. You have the strength card and two aces here. It's beautiful. All right, bottom of the deck, they're bringing you guys together in collaboration. And proving my point is the lovers. Right after that, okay. All right, something is moving forward here, okay? And again, they're, they're, they're really heavily assisting. So let's get Some romance angels since the romance angels are stepping up to the plate so much right now look at that you cannot make this shit up as soon as i say since the romance angels are stepping up to the plate i split the deck and boom there they are the angels <laughs> oh my god i love it i love it i love it there they are there it says divine timing is at work in your love life again the angels are doing work behind the scenes in a big, big way right now because so many of you guys are so very close to union, okay? They're assisting the, this person in like, you know, helping them to stay in their strength, you know? Helping them to trust in the unknown with the fool and to, you know, it's like they're, they're guiding their intuition at this time in a big way, okay? Worth waiting for. This was worth the wait. Divine timing. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. All right. So someone's been fake, right? Pretentious. They've been hiding behind, you know, false stuff. See the little spirit baby? Tying off, it's like untying the mask. The spirit babies are assisting the divine masculine at this time to untie their mask, to be authentic, to be strong, to be bold and brave and follow their soul and their heart. Some of the stuff that the divine masculine does and you know, it's like shocking to people. Some people, you know, because for some of them, they're taking action in their life. There could be, again, separation. They're cutting things away, third party stuff, whatever it is, right? Because the lovers is a choice in love. It's a decision. Archangel Raphael keeps showing up too, big time. A lot of heart healing, heart expansion, heart activations, heart awakening, you know, all of that. This person is in love with you, the lovers. You are the love of my life. 
okay? You guys are definitely meant to have a baby, a lot of you guys. This person finds you very physically attractive, but it's everything about you. But physically attractive. You're very beautiful. You're abundant. You're fruitful. See all the fruit back here? You're, you're, see the snake? You are temptation to this person. For some of you guys, you know, it scared this person how much they felt towards you in the past. Maybe, right? This is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. One, two, three on the timestamp. Things moving in order as they should. Divine timing. And right as I say that, the train in my town shows up and starts going off. I had to open my window real quick. See? Divine timing. Beautiful energy. Wow. Okay. So get ready for this. This is how the spirit babies are guiding Okay, some of them are wanting to be born. They're very connected to mommy over here. Some of them have already been born and they're just on the angelic realms and they're assisting and guiding from, from there, right? They're just watching over. Um, but some of them are truly ready to incarnate. Heart to heart conversations. You're going to be having honest discussions with this person about, you know, emotions, feelings, love. This person is going to be opening up to you, telling you how they feel towards you. Let's get some angel therapy cards. Actually, hold on real quick. Let's get the tea real fast. Let's get the tea. I haven't gotten, look at this, emotions and single. This person is letting me know, like, I'm emotionally available. I am single. I have gotten single. I'm free to, you know, pursue new things. <laughs> I'm ready to date. Get back out there. Start dating again. I want to date you. I want to talk to you. You know, it's all that. This person is really fantasizing about having a baby with you right now. Again, for those of you guys that, you know, are able to do that, this person fantasizes about having a family with you, a baby with you. You know, you, you do, you, 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 you turn them on and you get them going, right? In a big way. Um, but you're also, you know, very angelic to them and healing and, you know, you really tamed this beastly side of them. Okay. The devil side of them, if you will, right? The ego side of them, you bring out the best in them. They are in pursuit of you, chasing persistence, hunting down and resilient. Okay. So again, spiritual guidance here. Owls can be resonant to you. Um, just last night, me and my roommate got a beautiful confirmation of an owl flying over, screeching really loud. Right when we were having like a divine moment too. It was really beautiful. Um, but the owl could be watching over you as well at this time, the, the owl spirit. Um, because, you know, the owl is all about, you know, seeing things very clearly um, higher perspective, you know, intuition, third eye, wisdom. And I feel like that's all the energies that are surrounding the DM right now too. Both of you, but a coffee date. Yeah. They're in pursuit of you. They want their, this person is going to be coming in to discuss things. They want to talk, meet up with you. There it is. Phone call hearing from, so this is how they're being guided. Okay. Loved ones on the other side, you know, especially like if it's like, you know, like family members and just people who love the both of you guys, who have loved the both of you guys, they see the bigger picture, right? They see it from a different level. So they're guiding this because they want to see you guys together. They know that you two belong together. Okay. So you will be receiving um, conversations. Uh, you'll be talking to this person soon. You'll be hearing from this person soon. For some of you guys, you'll be meeting this person soon. Because I do get that. I get that for some of you guys. You have this pool with someone, all right? That's going to be a small majority of you guys. Because most of you guys here, it's it's like a separation here with the, with the Three of Swords 
and then there's like a breakthrough clarity an aha moment a divine moment of truth and, and all of that okay um so let me get a couple angel messages for you if this is your message my loves be sure to claim it as yours like subscribe all the tangs all the tangs right Thank you guys for all of your love and support here on YouTube. Um, if you would like to hone in on your own personal, you know, journey, situationship, twin flame stuff, whatever it is, um, you can find the info down below to book with me. I also offer past life Akashic readings. Okay. For the collective, what message do you have for them in regards to this beautiful soulmate or, you know, twin flame union? Past life issues. This situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. Okay, so this masculine has been doing a lot of past life healing. So have you, um, but they're really feeling the past life energy here. Again, though, but this is confirming for me that past life energy around you, ancestors, people who have known you, you guys, okay, they're assisting and guiding in a big way. A lot of purple in this card too and green it's like the heart and the third eye future vision and love basically is what i'm getting here um but if there is stuff for you guys that is coming up from the past or past life stuff or whatever it is right just allow it to come through remember it again like the card says remember it and release it learn from it and then let it go you know, surrender it up for good. Oh my gosh, literally, I'm talking about the heart chakra and the third eye and look at the bottom of the deck, the heart chakra. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. So this person knows that the answer lies within their heart. You are in their heart. They've connected to their heart, just like I said, activation. This is also like heart chakra energy is, you know, uh, Archangel Raphael, again, he governs the heart chakra space. And we have him here on the lover's card. I, this is someone who, um, and be willing to forgive. This person is really hoping that, you know, whatever's gone on, that you can forgive. Also, this is about be willing to forgive yourselves, my loves. You know, for, for past, you know, it's not mistakes. It's like you had to go through these experiences, but, you know, past karmic relationships and the things that you put up with in the past, you know, allowing your power to be taken from you, allowing, you know, disrespect, this and that, right? It's all in the past. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. I feel like this, whoever this person is too, that's another way that they're being guided at this time. Look at this, the element of spirit, right? As I'm saying that, I, I'm telling you, spirit's coming through very heavily right now for these connections, for you guys, for the DMs. These spirit babies are ready to be born. They're like, take this mask off and let's get to it, okay? Speak your truth, dad, so you and mom can be together. It's like that, right? Okay. Allow and trust in divine timing. You have two cards. I mean, it's all about divine timing. Like literally, this is your divine time to come together right now. And spirit, okay, is guiding it very heavily. The angels. Loved ones on the other side. They're helping um, remove unwanted stuff. They're helping purge. They're helping clean up. They're helping this complete like fresh start happen in a big way. Again, it says restoring harmony, a cleanup, a clean sweep, purging, removing unwanted stuff. So, you know, someone's been cleaning up because they want to get something going here with the bellows. I'm hearing cleaning up my act. This <laughs> someone's saying, I'm clean, I've cleaned up my act, I'm cleaning up my act. I've been getting all the signs. I've been seeing so many signs that remind me of you or that have led me straight to you, you know, all of that. What is this um, person's intention? The tower. Stand alone. Ego, legal systems, the hermit. They want to come out of hermit mode. They've reconnected with their soul. 
th their intention is they want to let you know whoever this is for some of you guys i'm telling you show me the, th the three of swords please there was a third party and so they're letting you know i'm seeing a lot of this right now yeah see the fox this is deception they're sorry that they were deceptive to you they're sorry that they you know maybe chose a third party or went back to a third party they know that they were you know like selfish that was they had self-interest at the time you know this and that i'm getting all that okay so they want you to know that like i've done a lot of deep reflection here this is someone who again very wise this is a you know deep thinker someone who can go deep if they want to um and now that they've reconnected in a big way they have there it is there there is the person that's who we're talking about right there the man acting all cool calm and collected sifting his whiskey Okay, but really look at this. Look at this. I told you they're spirit babies. Birth of a daughter. Birth of a daughter. Ladybugs can indicate pregnancy as well, right? A vibrant, abundant life is coming in. Happiness, comfort, leisure, good health, balance. Wishes are coming true. Okay? The lion. Okay. So um you are the lioness to this lion. Okay. You you make this person it's like you drive them wild okay that's what i'm getting you drive them wild but like in all the best kinds of ways okay you're the only one that can tame them there's like this it's just a strong sexual longing and desire that this person feels towards you okay or will feel towards you right but it's I, for the majority, like I said, you guys already know this person. It's, you know, could be a twin flame. There's separation here. Um, but it's very intense. Okay. Um, so let's get an overall archetype energy for this. But the way that it came through was that the, the spirit babies are really um, guiding. And so are ancestors and loved ones on the other side. They want to see you two together. Okay. Especially the spirit babies because you are the you're how they incarnate okay and for some of you guys these um these spirit babies are you know they're they're like rainbow babies they're twin flame babies they're you know they're they're very powerful they're you know but they're you know very powerful light workers and they're needed to incarnate at this time and so they're they're doing everything they can for you guys to come together all right here we go What do you want the collective to know, spirit babies? What do you want the collective to know, ancestors? Loved ones on the other side. The starborn. Oh, my. I'm, you can't make it up, you guys. You cannot make it up. I just got done talking about the spirit babies wanting to be born and that they're very um, powerful light workers, light babies, light beings, okay? Lights in this world. First card out, the starborn. The egg. The egg needs to be fertilized. Right? Okay. Look at all that beautiful energy here. These are babies that are starborn. They're born to be stars. They are stars. They're star children. Just like you. Okay. This is something being birthed. Ready? <laughs> That's crazy, you guys. I love it. The unseen and the prayer. Okay. So what it's like the unseen, like the spirit realm is helping in a big way. Okay. The unseen. What what has not been shown? Again, where's that mask card from earlier? Anyways, the masks, okay, are falling off. What's been unseen is gonna about to be shown. This person can't unfeel you. They can't unsee you. They can't unmeet you. Unlove you. The prayer, everything you've prayed for is coming. That's what this is. You're about to see it all. Okay, let's get one more over the top, please, for the collective spirit. The judge and the fault line. There it is. It's like the tower, a huge crack. Everything's, it, it's all coming to the surface. The judge, it's like judgment. Making a judgment call. Someone has been, they've gone through a big ascension or like they, they were hit very hard. They, they went, like they awoke and like, bam. Okay. The mystic. Yeah, there, there's been a rebirth here. 
they're they're connecting to their um to the higher selves okay but what they're picking up on is all of the spiritual signs and synchronicities that they're receiving okay um i'm hearing sorry guys i just have to shut this window now i'm hearing like um I, i'm hearing that song you're just too good to be true can't take my eyes off of you you'd be like heaven to touch i wanna hold you so much right that's what this is nothing god i'm alive you're just too good to be true look at can't take the mask again alfia this right here is all about truth this card it's it's all about divine truth and balance it's like that yin and the yang kind of a thing too so and the mystic this is someone who has literally tapped into their mystical side their soul okay they they find the mystical side of this connection beautiful all right it's all that it's like they're they're believing in angels they're they're feeling the spirit babies pull them in they're seeing all the signs and synchronicities okay but this confirms for me the whole like download that i got about the spirit babies they're the starborn okay so let me go ahead and actually read this message for you the starborn if i can find my book i know i had it out because oh here it is okay the starborn They're not like in alphabetical order in this book. They're like in like sections because it's the archetypes, you know? There it is. Beautiful. All right. It's on page 66. So you guys can be seeing a lot of 66 and then 67. Okay. So 67 is that 13 energy, right? So again, like death card energy for me, that's rebirth. The divine child. You cannot make it up, right? The divine child, the star child, the destined. This is destined to happen between the two of you guys. Even if you aren't at a childbearing age, or let's say you can't have children in this lifetime or something, 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 right? It doesn't matter. It's still your, your spirit babies who are guiding you together that you've had, okay? That are very strong, you know, souls on the other side, angels, whatever, right? Um, they're still guiding you. And they're also guiding you guys together so that you can continue on your journey. And even in the next lifetimes, the babies that you're going to have are, are helping you too. So, you know, it's, it's still relevant. Um, it says trusting, vibrant, aimed, and alight, okay? Uh, when this card appears, don't be surprised if you receive a surge of desire for a long lost dream, one you haven't visited since childhood. Let this desire shake you up, all right? An elusive yet radiant aspect of the self, the starborn archetype points to the cosmic spark of the light that arrives with each being at birth. The moment the newborn crowns, whether vaginally or surgically, the royal stars above are said to constellate in a unique shape that maps our path in the world. The idea of destiny is controversial, yet the starborn naturally feels a sense of destination and purpose, aiming itself toward a future that is beyond the mundane. When this card appears, travel back to your birth story for clues and insight. What did you desire when you were young? Practice seeing your life from a mythic point of view rather than one, ra, excuse me, rather than a series of logistics. Read the story of the three fates and envision yourself born under the stars with a unique destiny. It's your star babies, but it's also you guys are starborns. Same thing, okay? But again, if you feel call, heed the advice of going back to your start, you know, your, your childhood and, you know, what, what were your dreams like and what did you desire and, you know, all of that and get back in touch with that. So anyways, beautiful reading you guys. So this is definitely someone who's, you know, fantasizing. They're going to take action. This is someone who I feel, you know, obviously this is collective. So there's never like a for sure, for sure. Right. Like, but the energy that I, I feel is someone who's definitely, you know, they're fixated on you and they're feeling the guidance to come towards you in a big way. And they're feeling it in their soul, in their heart, right? 
So I feel like they're going to come in. So anyways, you guys, thank you again. And you know, um, thank you for all of your love and support. And if you want a book, you can find the info down below. I send you so much love, so much light. Namaste. Bye guys.